Okay, another White Rose Maths bar Vember bar modelling problem. It's a mouthful. Okay, Tom, Ulrika and Harriet each have some money. Harriet has three times as much money as Ulrika. Harriet has £304 more money than Tom. Tom has five-sevenths of the amount of money that Ulrika has. And we are asked to figure out how much money does Ulrika have. Now, with problems like this, where you're being told how much somebody has compared to somebody else, I usually like to try and figure out who has got the smallest amount and I usually would regard that as the base unit. So for example if you had persons A, B and C and you're told that B has twice the amount of A and C has twice the amount of B, well in that case A has the smallest amount so I would treat A as the base unit. B, well we've been told that B has twice the amount that A has, so that's twice as big as A, and C twice the amount that B has. Okay, so I might then be told that the total amount of money is that they have is £70. Now I know that each of these blocks is of equal value because this is twice this, this is twice this. So I know that each of these blocks is of equal value. How many blocks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks altogether. If I divide 70 by 7, that gives me 10, and that tells me that each of these blocks is worth 10. So I could figure out how much each person has. All right, very, very simple. Okay, so that's how I usually like to work these problems. Um, try to figure out what the base unit is. So let's have a look. Um, Harriet, we're told, has three times as much money as Ulrika. So Harriet has more than Ulrika. Um, Harriet has £304 more than Tom. So um, Tom has less than Harriet also. And Tom has five-sevenths of the amount of money that Ulrika has. Ah, okay, so Tom has the least amount of money, but we've been told um, how much he has in relation to Ulrika. So we need to, um, I'm, I think I'm actually going to start with Ulrika in this case, and I'm going to draw a model for her, and I'm going to, um, draw a bar that is divided into seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This bar is going to represent Ulrika. And as with any other, any bar modeling, it's very important that you label everything so that it's clear to you what everything is. You might lose track. Okay, so make sure that you um, label your bar. Now, just because it's the way I like to do it, um, Tom, we're told, has five-sevenths of the amount of money that Ulrika has. I, I like to put the smallest block on top. It, you can do it however you like. All right, so Tom has five-sevenths. So that's how big Tom's block is going to be, five-sevenths. This is our base block, all right? I, I like to put the smallest first, but you could have put Ulrika's up here and Tom's underneath. It really doesn't matter as long as it's clear to you what's going on. Right, what do we, what can we look at now? Um, okay, Harriet has £304 more money than Tom. Okay, um, right, ah, here, Harriet has three times as much money as Ulrika. Now we now know how much money Ulrika has, so we're now going to do Harriet's block and we know that uh, that would be the same as Ulrika and I'm going to go so another seven blocks now that's now twice as much as Ulrika and that's now 
three times as much as Ulrika. Okay, and I'm going to just so that we know we're still dealing in. We've got these sevenths here. Okay, so but I've now drawn that Harriet has three times as much as Ulrika, and I'm just going to maybe go over this just to make this clear here. So there's one, two, three. Okay, so hopefully you're still with me and we're, we're building it um, together using the information in the problem. Okay, now what can we look at now? The other piece of information we still haven't put in is that Harriet has £304 more money than Tom. Now how much has Tom got? Tom has up to here. All right, now this is where, had, had you put Tom's here, I, I suppose that might have been easier to see, but this is this is how much Tom has. I'm going to draw a line all the way down there. Okay, so this is the same as Tom. This is what Harriet has that's more than Tom. All of this there. So I now know that this is worth three hundred and four pounds. So I can I'm starting to be able to put values on things. So what does what can that what can I do with that now? Well I know that these are all equal size blocks, don't I? Alright, and how many of them have I got? Well that's seven. That's then another that's another seven. So that's fourteen. 15, 16. There are 16 equal size blocks within this 304 pounds. So if I divide 304 by 16, that's one in there, naughtily doing short division rather than long division, I can see that 16 times 10 would be 160 and that this is 16 less than that so there we go 19 so now I know that each of these blocks has a value of 19 all right so what am I actually asked so I'm just going to let's I should label this one for the sake of it so I, all of these could be labeled 19 so what am I actually asked? I'm asked, how much money does Ulrika have? So how many of these blocks are in Ul <coughs> excuse me, Ulrika's amount of money? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I now need to do 19 times seven. Okay. And that gives me 133 so it's 133 pounds so that's our final answer in fact so the answer is all Rika has 133 pounds all right now your model might look different to mine I said you might have put um, Ulrika's block at the top and then Tom's it really doesn't matter as long as you label things well and you understand what's going on okay I hope that helps